Een speciale gast hier is Kim Wilde. Hi there. Now you didn't understand a word what I was saying, but it was said it that's nice, though. No, it was really nice. It said it lovely. <laughs> now, how was your vacation? I, I mean, you've been away for so long. You must have had a vacation now. Um, yeah, I was working most of the time, really, recording and writing the new album, which mm -hmm. is out in May. So, really, I've been working all the time. I know it sort of seems like a long time, but there was a lot of work to do. I did go on holidays as well, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. because at, at a certain moment, we, we were really afraid that you could become a devoted housewife, you know? No music at all. Because, <laughs> Why? Well, we haven't heard of you for such a long time, so... Well, it takes a long time to make an album if you want it to be good. You know, you can't rush out to uh, something that's good. But um, during the time when I wasn't writing, I went on holiday and I learned how to um, scuba dive. And I was looking at little fishies like this oh, under yeah. the sea. Right. That's where I got it from. It's so I wasn't yeah. really leading the the, ha the uh, life of a housewife. I was be actually being quite adventurous. Uh huh. Oh, that now, <laughs> that's good here. I mean, according to the papers, you were already married and no, living together married. with uh, Calvin. Okay. I won't say a thing here. <laughs> now, at what moment do you decide it is time to record a new album? I mean, is it you who decides that, or is it the record company, or how does that go? Well, by the time you finished. Uh, writing and recording an album you're out doing this which is promoting that uh -huh. and that usually takes up to about a year by which time it's about time to start thinking about writing another album which again will take a, quite a long time so um because i like to be involved in writing and the promotion of my of my stuff so uh -huh. that's why i have breaks now and again you know because you can't just keep going all the time you have to take time to write songs. Yeah, aren't you afraid at a certain moment that your inspiration will just stop, like a writer's block? Not really. No, I'm not, I'm not worried about it at all. I feel more inspired as the years go by and um, I feel much better about writing songs and better about everything actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, do you really uh, keep a close watch on the charts and things like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the charts. I, I love pop music still more, more I think, than I ever did before. Uh -huh. I love all the house stuff and the rap music and it's great. Are you really into that? I really like De La Soul and I really like Adiva. And I like Kylie too. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, that's because she's cute, right? No, I like her records too, actually. Yeah. Now, don't you ever have the feeling when you hear a song like, I mean, Beats International, whatever, to make a song like that, to, just to make a make a make a housey track, if you're if you're into that? Um, I've got my own style, my own way of doing things, and people like that, and you know, it's individual. I don't want to go around copying people just for commercial gain. I just want to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But and still, hopefully then, hopefully everyone will like it. Is, is is commercial success important to you? The charts? Sure, yeah, of course it is. Are yeah. you one of these persons who can't sleep the night before the charts are released? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lies. Okay. Of course. I mean, I I love being involved in pop music, and I like to be competitive. I like to be in the race. Do you see them as competitors? Who who's your major competitor? Or does it depend on the time and the charts you're into at that moment? Or um, everybody else who's in the chart is competing everybody um, uh -huh. at the time when your record is out i mean i don't sort of see anyone individual as like stealing my limelight or anything i've been making records for too long to uh, start worrying about things like that you sound like a veteran here now but but who would you like to who would you like to kick off the first place the most um i guess um no one no one no i'm not a vindictive person there's room for us all no. <laughs> there is. That Even you, nice, yeah. you could make a record. No, I don't think mm. so. No. No. Okay. I, okay. Let's let's get let's one thing. That, yeah. That's why I got this job. You, you know. You do I, that. Yeah. Too bad to sing and. and mm. Hey, yeah, it's your first hit nine years ago. Will you go on for another nine? Maybe. And what will that look like? <laughs> well, what will it look like? Uh -huh. No, not you. <laughs> what will I look like? I don't know. I mean, um, I really don't know how it will develop. With me, I'm, I don't know how much longer I'll carry on doing this, mm -hmm. but certainly I'll keep on with music. And if I stop doing it myself, I'll write for other people, produce other people, and be involved in uh, the background somewhere. But not for a little while yet. Okay. Well, looking forward to see you on stage in a moment. Thank you. By the way, you've been looking at my fishies now. Yeah, I like that. I, I must say, uh, don't get me wrong here, but I must say, I did a little survey here and we all think you've got the most beautiful mouth in the world. Do you do exercises oh, for that or not? <laughs> I was born with him, stupid. You don't you don't stretch <laughs> it up or something or? 
No, I don't. <laughs> God, no, I, okay. But uh, I'll take the, um, the, the um, compliment. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I want to thank you for being here. One, one last question, uh, and that is, the director already knows. I mean, what's your favorite video? What did you choose? Um, I like De La Soul a lot. So I think we're going to see Me, Myself and I. That's a good song. Good video as well. Yeah, I like the title. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thank you. See you on stage later Ciao. on. Hi, I'm David Bowie and you're watching Countdown, Europe's number one rock show.